Hey Colossinius community, it's Arden from Colossinius School here and today we're gonna talk about my uh, planche journey, was a long journey and for sure really hard. When I just started I already had experience, two years actually, about basics. So I did a lot of pull-ups, push-ups, dips and I already started with some tricks or elements like front lever or it just started, you know, uh, and uh, handstand, I already did some handstand push-ups, you know, but planche was on another level. And I was so motivated seeing Hannibal for King doing push-ups uh, in planche position on deep bars. I was really surprised how people junior did those crazy planche fingers, planche push-ups and it was so light and it was amazing. Push-ups without any touching of the floor with the legs. I was so impressed and I wanted to start this journey and I was sure that one day I'll be there and I'll I'll just get it, you know, and my journey has started. So after two months of just tries and jumping in the plane in any form, I decided and understood that it is not my choice. I just couldn't reach it like some different moves, maybe handstand in bad form, you can reach like that, but planche is just on another level. And I decided to go in that, in that move. I already uh, had experience in physics because I'm a physicist and you know, it's my profession. Uh, then I also trained with some gymnasts and now looking back, I understand that my planche experience is just a puzzle of many pieces, such as gymnastics, such as my own experience, even extra weight exercises because I did them a lot for shoulders just for separation, right? Just separate shoulders power. Also some, you know, acrobatics inside, physics, of course, because everything is physics, right? You should understand the lever, you should understand which part of your body you should work with to just reach it, right? And combination of it is my planche experience made from zero after 10 years till where I have it now, like on this level. So the first part, understanding of biomechanics and physics uh, gave me understanding that we all should lean. Now it's really simple, but looking back 10 or 12 years ago, wasn't any, you know, tutorial on it. And I start to lean, I start getting the position, I start understand it. I did everything wrong without good form, without core engagement, without this whole body position and so on, right? But it was something. I felt my shoulders getting better and stronger and I felt much closer to the planche, but it wasn't actually, right? So uh, my first and exercise I still do is the planche lean. Of course, I improved that a lot. Of course, now I do it with some extra stuff you will see in this video. Uh, but now just check out what is the leaning out here and let's go into gym and I will show you how I use it now in my trainings. Well, we are in the gym and here I will show you some points of this exercise. This is leaning with the wall, already advanced exercise and you should have a lot of control of your shoulders. So first point is the measurement between the wall and your hands. It should be plank or little leaning. If you get a lot of leaning, it will be even harder than straddle planche. So take care and start from regular plank. Another one point is your upper back. It should be curved, whole body position, 
as always, core engage. So you put your legs on the shoulders height and just do the lean like this. Of course, only shoulders preparing isn't enough, even if you do such a good lean. And I already was good in planche and could hold it for some time, but I didn't feel good my body. I didn't feel core contraction. I didn't feel that it's easy. You know what I mean? When you feel that your body is so overweight in this planche, right? And in this time I went to the Netherlands and there I trained with a really high quality coach, Olympic coach, and I want to show it. Hello again, we are here and of course uh, wasn't enough, as I said. And looking back, uh, I just went to Netherlands for a workshop. I already had a lot of experience to share and to teach people and they were really amazed how many things inside calisthenics we actually have. And I was lucky to train with Yuri Johan Helder and his trainer. It's Olympic trainer and you can imagine how much knowledge um, such an, such an uh, trainer or coach uh, usually has. So it was amazing and when he go through all my preparing stuff, I already did even Maltese, but he understood one weak point why I still couldn't feel my body real light in this position why I can't just rest in it of course it's it's hard to rest in it but anyways right and it's about upper back about using your scapular rotators and all those muscles in your upper back correctly and helping to your shoulders not just you know resting all your body on your shoulders it was really really important thing and he just go through my skin, just not through, but you know, just through my skin under my scapula and just say, push it, push my fingers out without moving your shoulders too much. And I did it and I felt my upper back working correctly. And when I did some shrugs for it, feeling the same feeling when I push out those fingers, I felt a lot of power of my upper back and it was game changer. Now I transformed this exercise into tuck plain shrugs, which is of course much harder already on another level, but I still do them. So we know already two exercises I use, still use in my trainings of planche when I already can hold it and you know how to make them easier if you are a beginner and harder if you are already near pro. And last one thing I understood that I need a control not only on straight arm, which is really important, the most important thing for planche, but also on bent arms. You know why? For 9 degrees push-ups, for planche push-ups, for just getting more strength on my shoulders while doing that uh, planche push-ups, right? So I understood that and I had an idea that I should do uh, pseudo push-ups or leaning push-ups, doesn't matter how you call them. And that was also really nice shoulders pumping. And I remember how I started doing them like 10 years ago or seven years ago, you know, really long time ago. And now I still do them, but totally different. There, I just did it for shoulders pumping, like a lean, bad with bad form. But now, with understanding of those uh, scapular movement, I could control it. I could control my upper back and scapulas and get even more burden on my shoulders and getting even better with my upper back control. And it was amazing. Now you can see 
what I had, how I did it without scapular control and what I do now with scapular control. A tiny thing, but changes everything. And make sure that in my course, those little things are described fully. So you not only train good things and good trainings and have a program which is made for you, but also understand those little things which push you forward with the progress a lot. Thank you guys for watching this video. I just spend so much time on this video of storytelling but hope you like that and if you like that just subscribe to the channel thumbs up and uh, turn on notification button don't forget to go into description press the link and see you in my plunge course